Okay, so we discuss about this non flex under this non flexible low voltage cables about the uh, non armored PVC cables. Okay, so in this non armored PVC cables, we do not have a armored armored, but uh, we have this conductive part, insulating part, as well as this sheath around gives the mechanical protection. Okay, this sheath as well as insulation is made of PVC, so that's why we called uh, this as PVC insulated because all these conductive parts are insulated by PVC and uh, this copper can be solid or stranded here it shows a solid conductive part and in this figure you can find this conductive part can be a stranded one and let's see what is the uh, difference between this non-armored non and armored one okay so to give the more uh, mechanical strength or more uh, strong, uh, strength to this cable, we can add this armored part. Okay, so you can find in here as the second part after the sheath, we can have an armor which is made of galvanized steel wire. Okay, so you can under, uh, you can understand when we add this type of a steel wires to the cable, it will make this cable very hard and it gives more protection. Uh, to the cable from some mechanical damages. But in previous case, we do not have this armored part. That's why these type of cables called as non-armored PVC insulated cables. And if we have this armored part included to the cable, we call them as armored cables. Okay, so here in this figure, you can find these are the uh, galvanized steel wires. Okay, so if we add this layer to the cable, this type of cables called as armored cables and you can find in here uh, at the outer frame we have this PVC sheath and then we have this armored part and again we have a PVC bedding okay. and uh, this PVC bedding is given uh, in between this armored part and this insulating part uh, just because as this seal uh, steel can be uh, make some damages to this insulating part of the cable conduct uh, of the cable to avoid that we are using some additional part that is we call as a bedding okay. normally we include this bedding in between this armored and this insulating part okay so these are the uh, major parts we can found in armored PVC insulated cables. Okay, one by one it is mentioned here. We'll go from the uh, down. So this is our conductive part which allows current to carry and around that we have this insulation and as this is a PVC insulated cables, this insulation is made of PVC. Then we have this bedding at all in between this armored part and the uh, cable insulation. We will add some uh, another type of a part. We call it as a bedding. This is just to uh, protect this insulation from the steel wires. Then uh, we add this. Around that we can find this steel wires. So we call it as the armor. Okay, so this is our armor. It will increase the uh, mechanical strength of the cable and around that again we have this PVC sheath. Okay. Here also have one example for this type of armored PVC insulated cable. This is the sheath and this is the armor and here we can have a bedding and these are the PVC insulation and these are the stranded cable conductive part. It can, it's normally we use this copper as the conductive material. Okay, so these are uh, these are some low voltage cables we can found. But underground cables have uh, more uh, tend to having some mechanical damages. Okay, so if you want very high high strength to the cable, we are using this armored cable. Normally we used this armored cable as the underground installations. Mostly in your underground installations, we use this armored cables.
Okay, so this is the difference between unarmored PVC insulated cable and the armored PVC insulated cables. Uh, these are also, but normally in residential installations, we cannot find this type of a very hard cables. Okay, this is not only related to the residential installation, uh, but also for these uh, industrial as, uh, as well as in commercial installations, we can found this type of uh, uh, cables. All right. So this is called as the paper insulated lead sheet cables. Okay, so you can find it has so many layers which gives uh, the protection to the conductive part of the cables. Okay, so these are also uh, normally mostly used as UG or underground cables. Here you can find 10 layers are can be found in this type of cable. So by the name it is understood that the conductive part is insulated by a paper insulation. So this is the conductive part. Around that we have this paper insulation. Okay, so keep it in mind. This all this uh, non volt this one low voltage cables not only related to the residential. Okay, for residential we are not uh, normally no need of this type of a very standard cables. Residential a uh, more industrial. And heavy works, we are using this type of low voltage uh, cables. Okay, where we can have this uh, stranded conductor. This is our stranded conductor. In here around that uh, we can have this carbon paper screen okay so here it is uh, not mentioned here okay so this is also like this okay then we have then impregnated paper insulation we told that paper we have to impregnate it in oil or some kind of a material which uh, keep uh, keep not uh, con contact with uh, moisture from the outside. Okay, so we are using this paper as the insulation part. Then there are so many parts we can found in here. Okay. You can find all these are given more mechanical strength to these cables. Okay, so we can find by the Appearance also very, it looks very hard. Okay. So mainly these are this type of very hard cables we can found in underground installations. Then this is a rubber insulated cable. In rubber insulated cables. We have this uh, copper conductor. As shown here, around that we have the rubber insulation. It is given this temperature as 85 centigrade. That means that insulation property is okay, this uh, insulation property can be damaged if it is uh, used uh, more than this 85 centigrade. So around that we have this rubber insulation. Then uh, we can have a textile braided and compound. You can find we use this term braided means this kind of a arrangement. We use any kind of a textile braided compound around this cable. The normal construction of a rubber insulated cables is consist of these main three parts. Then mineral insulated cables, we, call, we discuss about this mineral also as insulated 
insulating material for the cables last day. So this is a mineral insulated cable. This mineral insulated cable, uh, mostly this type of cables we can uh, use in industrial level because it will uh, reduce these, uh, because it can withstand for very high temperature values and also it will reduce that fire hazards and other kind of uh, damages due to this electricity misuses. Okay, so this copper conductor, this is the copper conductor. Okay. As the uh, mineral, we can use this magnesium oxide. Okay, so we have this magnesium oxide insulation. Then around that, we are using this copper sheath and also this LSF over sheath just to reduce this smoke and fumes uh, happen due to this high temperature values or some kind of a burns which can be happen due to some overloading or some short circuit conditions. Okay. So this is mineral insulated cable. So by the appearance, we can take an idea whether this is a mineral insulated one, PVC type or the uh, rubber type likewise by this kind of a this kind of a cross section or this kind of arrangements we should be able to identify whether this cable is coming under or used which type of insulation okay uh, then other type of cables are flexible cables so these are very flexible to bend and all so we last day also we discussed uh, any flexible cable having less than four square millimeter cross section area we call them as flexible cords uh, this flexible cables have different types as braided circular okay braided it is comes because this part is braided okay. braided means uh, we are doing this kind of a textile arrangement, we are called it as a braided, okay, that's why we call it as braided circular. And here also we have this conductive part, it can be plain copper. Then around that we have this ins uh, PVC insulation. Normally, we can uh, from these regulations how they have uh, divided these uh, voltage levels up to 600 voltage line to neutral or the line to earth voltage is up to 600 voltage and we call them as low voltage okay and the line to line voltage if it is a thousand voltage it is coming under this low voltages okay so in here it is uh, you know to get an idea normally uh, we are very familiar with this 230 voltage for single phase and 400 voltage for three uh, three phases so you can find these are uh, in between these two values these values so all these uh, installations having these two voltages they are coming called as low voltage cables. Okay. Then these high voltage cables in Sri Lanka, normally we can found in that uh, power systems, no? in distribution side, in generation side, likewise in transmission sites, we are using that high voltage cables. So this residential installations also normally coming under this low voltage inst installations. But in residential installations, all these type of uh, cables are not found. Okay, very uh, smaller amount of cables around the world are used in residential installation because we are not uh, most most of the times we are not going to use these underground cables and all in 
uh, normal residential installations and normal domestic installations. But when you're going to this industrial and commercial, you have to use very different, different type of low voltage cables also. Okay, these are flexible low voltage cables also uh, we used in residential installations. Okay, this is one type of fle flexible cable, braided circular, and the insulation is PVC here. This braided name comes just because of this part. It has a first uh, conductive part. Around that, we have this insulation of PVC insulation, and all these three cables are wounded or uh, enclosed with this inner sheath. It is also made of PVC. And then we have this braided part. Around that, we have another sheath. So you can find uh, as these are very flexible, so we have to give more mechanical protection to this flexible low voltage cables, therefore they use two sheets. Uh, this is called as inner sheet and this one is the over sheet. In between these two sheets, we have this braided copper wire. So you can find all these parts are just used to give the mechanical protection to this cable. And only this part carries the current and this is give the insulation to this uh, current passing through this conductive part. Then you have find another type of flexible low voltage cables. Um, one is unkinkable one. Then other one is circular sheathed one. In unkinkable one, we have this uh, conductor, conductive part. Around that, we are using insulation as the rubber. And this rubber is uh, the maximum temperature which can be withstand for this insulation is 60 degrees centigrade. Then around that, we have another rubber layer. This is also textile graded one. So this unkinkable flexible low voltage cables mostly use this rubber as the insulation material. In previous case, this braided, braided circular one, we use PVC as the insulation. In this circular sheet, uh, again, we have this conductor having a copper conductor. And around that, we have, we can have rubber or PVC. Then sheath also can be made of PVC or rubber. So this type of uh, flexible cables, we call them as circular sheathed flexible cables or fle flexible cords when this uh, cross section is less than four square millimeters. Okay, these are the most mostly used cables and most of the uh, mostly found cables in the electrical installations. So these are the basic things related to the cables. Okay, not, these are not only uh, valid for this residential installation, as I told you earlier also. So you should have a knowledge of any type, for any type of low voltage electrical installations. Uh, this theoretical part is important for you. Okay, okay when we come to the house wiring, Mostly we nowadays we use this PVC insulated cables. Then this is uh, you are aware of this cable color code. This is the new color code. According to this new color code, these are the colors we used for single phase. Phase conductor is brown color, and neutral conductor is blue color. Then the earth conductor or the protective conductor is green color and it has this type of a yellow strip. Then when we come to the three phase, phase one, uh, we use brown, line two, black, and line three, gray. Neutral is blue and 
protective conductor is green and yellow. Okay, this is the new color code, but in old installations, when we have to do some maintenance work or something, we should know that old version also, those are comes as red, R, Y, B, red, yellow, blue, this one is black and this is green. Okay. But present or currently, we are using this new color code. Okay, when you are doing a new installation, we should use this new color code. So maybe this, this is not this was like a manufacturer's. So any cable, then when you are going to buy these cables, we can have a this kind of a description. Uh, we can have a, an idea before buying these cables uh, because all most of the manufacturers give some data sheets related to their uh, manufactured manufactured cables and all. Okay, so this is a built-in wire supplied by some manufacturer you can find. It has a correct color code. So by the appearance of this um, color of the, this cable, uh, the, uh, this, is, this can be used as the and it is given what is the application if, if any person uh, do not about this color code and all this manufacturer gives that information what is the application all electrical installation uh, powered equipment exposed metal parts are connected to ground to prevent user contact with dangerous voltage when electrical install insulation is fails okay so we, this cable we used for that application so that means we can use this cable as the earth wire or the earth cable. And the type of this cable is, it is given like this type. Yeah, if it is not here, I will draw, write again. It's copper PVC fire guard. So that means this conductive part is made of copper and the, this part is made of PVC and on PVC it has fire guard that means it may be uh, withstand for fire than uh, normal PVC. Okay. So it will give the details about the materials which used to make this cable. Then also it is mentioned according to what which standard they made this cable here we use this british british standard so they all this manufacturer also use these standards bs uh, standards as well as this sls standard okay, so that means this is a uh, good conductor or a good cable which is suitable for electrical installations and the nominal voltage, nominal voltage, it is given like this, 450, 750 volt. Okay. What does this mean is, this is the phase voltage and this is the line voltage. So this 450 is uh, less than 600 and this is less than 1000. So this is a low voltage cable. Then it gives the uh, details about the insulation. Insulation it gives 70 degree centigrade rated PVC compound. Okay. That means this is this uh, insulation is made of PVC and the maximum withstand temperature for this insulation is 70 centigrades. Then there is a sheath also. Okay. So sheath also PVC compound. 
and the packing supplied in coils of 100 meters or as per uh, customer requirement. Okay. So this manufacturer supply this uh, earth wire uh, having a coil. Okay. We have seen this type of coil. Okay. The length of one coil okay, is 100 meters. Okay. Or as per the customer, we, they can give some non-standard type of uh, supply. Okay. So this is about the packing of this earth wires okay so if we take uh, one pack we should understand that it has 100 meter length of earth earth wire then conductor is soft annealed copper wires okay these are all uh, terms related to the materials so you can find from the manufacturer when you are going to buy the uh, cables before going to buy the cables we can have this type of a uh, look for the manufacturer's sheet okay so this is the this is one example you can find uh, all the details are given by the manufacturer like uh, what is the application, what is the standard they use to manufacture this one, and what are the materials used to used for this uh, conductive part, insulation part for the sheet. Likewise, all the details are given by the manufacturer. Mm, this is also coming on the built-in wires and insulation only wire. You can find it has an insulation and this blue color. Okay, blue color means uh, we know this is normally we use for neutral conductor. Okay, like I see also it gives what are the standards, nominal voltage, every details are given in this sheet. Single core wire, another example, it has the conductor. Insulation, insulation, and around that we have a sheet. Operating temperatures, everything's are given here. 